Oh, shalom, Rastafari. This is Ras Adonis Tafari reporting for the Lion of Judah Society of his Imperial Majesty and broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net and also on the Rastafari Sabbatical channel on the YouTubes. This, um, this guy, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, he wants to be your nanny. He's the mayor of New York, in case you don't know, and um, recently he's been about trying to ban um, um, to ban uh, sugary drinks, right? And his uh, his attempts, you know, haven't really worked out the way that he, um, as you can see, his his uh, attempt rate here hasn't really worked out. They basically have over a judge has overthrown his um, um, banning of sugary drinks, as you see right here. Um, let's zoom this. Let's zoom this in a little bit here, and you can see this for you can see this for yourself. Um, and Mayor Nanny Bloomberg's sugary drinks edict. Okay, the New York Supreme Court, and he's, oh, he's stinging. In fact, um, I thought to, actually, you know, I heard the story and just kind of let it go. So many things, you know, um, are going on, but they all kind of come together. And sometimes if you just breathe and be still and, and, and trust in, in, in the spirit of truth and God, you know, within you, and this is not to get into religious um, matter, but more of a spiritual matter, you know, you can, you know, everybody can smell bullshit, you know what I mean? And and a lot of this um, nanny state stuff and Bloomberg and this uh, sugary drinks, I thought this was, this was interesting, even the title, sugary drinks. But no real mention has been made of aspartame, you know, aspartame, which is actually made from the E. coli, e. coli bacteria. You know, and um, he was on uh, CBS uh, CBS News today. And I noticed that whenever Bloomberg, since he's like a big, uh, um, rich, connected, made his money from a lot of inside trading, Wall Street, so forth and so on, you know, he tries to speak in a mild-mannered, soft way, almost like a, you know, almost like he got a, he got a, a real issue, but anyway, this is not an ad hominem so much attack. Even though I think uh, Bloomberg, he's ad hominem himself. Even though he he pretends that this um, ban, which he want to be about, is for everybody's best interest. Even though it's been proven that just uh, banning sugary drinks won't stop obesity. So. Every time they'll throw out a particular issue, people who really know what's going on and bring out the facts that that's not what it's about. And, you know, then he'll change it. He's trying to say right now, well, you know, this is he, he's just so upset that he got slapped down in the banning of, um, I think, any size above 16, um, 16 fluid ounces. So here is... Here is uh, Michael Bloomberg, you know what I mean? Here's Michael Bloomberg, the nanny of the nanny state. And also, please recall, he's also, right, he's also um, the same one that twisted the laws in New York. He changed, like, the laws and everything because he's an insider, because he's well-connected, you know. He makes you believe because people generally you know, think he's um, a decent, honest person. Well, you know, when you control Bloomberg News and Bloomberg Media, only so much is going to come out, you know, about you. But still, with all of that, he doesn't control everything. And this um, banning of the sugary drinks and him getting, you know, knocked back on that particular move right here, I guess they have him as a, as a kind of a um, Napoleon figure has really caused him to say, ouch, 
right? It has caused him to say, out. So he's basically on the attack, and he's up in the media and everything talking about, you know, um, how, well, does anybody want to roll back the smoking ban? Because he's, he's basically used that as another piece of um, 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 soft kill. That's like a soft kill issue right there, you know. And it's not really smoking, you know, so much. It's not. It, it's what you're smoking. And it's the tobacco companies. But now they flip it on the people who've been addicted to smoking and then say, well, anything's that is smoke. But what's interesting is that a lot of these rich folks they still got their they still got their, their 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 back rooms, you know, the cigars, their smoking clubs. I mean you see it like in old movies and stuff like that, but it's still going on. I mean go to Manhattan, some of the areas where they have these um you know, hundreds of do- hundreds of dollar um cigars and stuff like that. And they have special places that they go and they smoke their cigars, their blunts, and, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff, too, you know, you know what I'm saying? They smoke the best. They sell the worst to the people. When the people really start to find out that this is going on, then they try to pose as the saviors. And this is what Michael Bloomberg is trying to do with this whole sugary drinks issue. But what I find to be most um, um, interesting is that no mention on aspartame, the aspartame, right? The aspartame is an artificial sweetness. And how the artificial sweetness like aspartame is made from the E. coli bacteria. And how a lot of these um, artificial sweetness is what's causing um, um, a lot of death and, and cancer. And instead of banning just the so-called size portion, right, why not ban this use of aspartame as well as ban, um, you know, some of these other, you know, uh, artificial sugars, which have been all proven to be harmful and part of the whole GMO thing. In fact, this is why I'm, like, recording this because I was thinking about it when I heard him on um, – on uh, CBS, the CBS morning show, and he's really stinging about what, what has happened with this particular um, court ruling, right? Because he basically thought it was already a done deal, you know? He, he really didn't expect that. But being the sort of businessman, tycoon, insider, manipulator that he is, he's going to fight it, and one of the main steps is to get out ahead of the story and to get on all of the, like, local and national media because, you know, if you look up Bloomberg, the first thing when you look up Bloomberg, you find um, Bloomberg News, right? So you want to ban large soft drinks. But what about what's in these soft drinks? So he want to ban portion sizes. He doesn't want to deal with the content. You see, they use these issues as a smoke screen, but don't want to really deal with the content. So what we want to try to inspire some others and, you know, ourselves, we're making this step forward, you know, with this particular vid right here, is since he's so conscious about the health and want to, you know, ban things and get rid of things that are harmful you know, to the health of of New Yorkers and and people in general. I mean, that's his new game. You know, some say he's he's been always on that. And by the way, who's in charge of the health department? How come he's always the one that is stepping out front? And it's almost like he's running the government, but the person who's in charge of the health department, I think when we saw him in his – press, uh, press, uh, not press release, but when he stepped to the press about the whole banning thing, he spoke like for five, almost 10 minutes, seven to 10 minutes or so. And then I think the guy who's supposed to be over the health department, he kind of called him in and said, you want to say something? He was standing up there with